call hugs. That was sort of our theme. Okay, okay we'll step back one more. Um, and with the hubs theme, we want things close to where we all live and multiple little centers, but, and there's lots of lifelong learning here, exercise here, educational classes. We want close grocery stores, drug stores, and uh, libraries. We want safe neighborhoods for uh, walking and exercise and activity, pea catches, shared meals, book clubs, all sorts of social support and interaction and activities. Uh, are very, very important. And one thing that we, is really big theme to us was intergenerational. We want to uh, be able to have young people and children and everybody all involved in and around what we are doing. What did I miss, Jim? No, nope, I think you're good. <laughs> That's oh, it. Um, ours was kind of similar to what you just heard. We were trying to create a caring community that is pedestrian friendly, coordinates volunteers, and fosters connections among the generations. And we were trying to take a real micro look at a neighborhood. So what we drew here was um, a mini community center that would be kind of a hub for that neighborhood. It's very small, it's like a storefront. And it has a little plaza connected for casual kinds of activities like barbecues and croquet games, a covered area because it's not always drenched in sunshine, although in my mind it was. <laughs> and um, all, all sorts of things to help people stay healthy and be connected with each other. A pedestrian friendly trail, we talked about a swimming pool. And um, the idea is that it's truly on a people scale in the neighborhood so that the connections are formed and people can participate and look out for each other. We talked about volunteer opportunities so that there is some, some sort of system whereby people can say, I need this tour done, I need this errand done, and others can volunteer to help out with that. And people looking out for each other, kind of like a block watch system. Did I leave anything out? So All right. Yeah. Woo! Sidewalks, walkability, easy access to transportation options, um, and some attention to kind of the safety of uh, the environment. The next part of our conversation, thank you, was a little discussion about um, kind of the challenge of um, not having the kind of extended family support um, system in our culture um, that exists in other places, in other parts of the world, other cultures. So this notion about creating um, in an intentional way, kind of the equivalent of extended family support um, with neighbors um, in the community, a little bit the block watch um, kind of stuff, maybe leveraging into sort of emergency preparedness uh, work that's very deep in the community. Um, but to do that in a way um, that is really about building relationships and so that people really know one another um, uh, because uh, kind of trust and continuity is really important. Um, okay, now this way. <laughs> um, uh, next, a conversation about place um, and uh, the notion of a gathering place in the community, um, maybe a la the third place concept model. Um, uh, and we talked also about the model for community centers that's here in Seattle and senior centers and some kind of mix of all of that, but it is a place to bring people together sort of easily and readily nearby uh, for meeting, connecting, learning, activities, um, and things like that. And then also the reality of the resources in the environment that we're going to have to be in our neighborhoods very creative in terms of using um, existing spaces and facilities, um, sort of empty sort of commercial real estate, schools, other community resources and the like. Um, we had some discussion about connecting across generations and um, that's a big discussion but kind of this idea about learning from organizations that maybe are sort of more culturally identified because I think they have lessons to teach us. Um, and lastly, um, uh, this notion about really thinking differently about public-private partnerships. Um, that yes, community-based and volunteers, but kind of you have to have structures and resources there and in this environment really thinking about pub public-private partnerships. Um, and some examples of things in the past through um, the pea patch gardens and the like. And so kind of then threading into sustainability and food and gardens and all of that stuff that we could have gone on, but we didn't. All right. Team <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So we've got, uh, we really like the medical home. So that was kind of the center for us to keep everybody healthy. And to do that, we had a uh, natural food store close by, uh, good transportation with sidewalks and bike lanes and stoplights. Uh, and then we had kind of a community center with volunteers, adult and child care and education and exercise facilities. <laughs> and we had this uh, sort of equipment sharing to maintain your house and your yard. Uh, we had compute, what? Oh, and home care sharing too, sorry. And uh, we had the computer so people could get on a Craigslist-like thing to find out where volunteers were or where they could find certain things or let people know they're looking for certain things. Um, we had Oh yeah, we had the, a church or spiritual center where volunteers might come from and where people can go to get their spirituality if they're looking for that.